Hi guys, welcome to a Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. The second camp of 2023. And I tell you what, the training for the Cumbrian Way sure is paying off. I'm, ba I'm barely breathing heavy coming up this hill, which normally I'm breathing out my backside. I've got camping Dan and his, his pal come with us for the camp today, as well as Daz Bewley from the Bewley Brothers. We are just heading to my permission for a nice hammock camp. We're going to get a campfire going and we're going to do some cooking. Well, I say we, it's Dan's pal who's a chef. He's going to do some cooking for us. So yeah, looking forward to this. Especially with the weather that we've had recently, 80 mile an hour plus winds and rain. I just didn't fancy going out. You know, if you don't have to, there's no point risking it. So I'm really looking forward to this camp. We're just on the way up to my woods. So we'll have a quick look around and then we'll get set up in the woods. You can see the Pennines in the distance there. You can also see the snow uh, on, the, on the ground. We had a snowfall on Monday and it's been that cold. Even with the sunshine we've got now, it's still lingering about. So we're just on the way to the woods. Here's the boys, just taking a wee bit of a breather. Dan and his pals decided to bring enough food to feed the entire British army. <laughs> So yeah, we're on the way to the woods. Like I say, really looking forward to this one. Great to get back out again. So we'll see you in the woods. Well, that's us at camp and we are all set up. Feels good to be back at camp. It's been a little while since I've been here. Last time we had uh, Adam in the wild, Kat, Amy, uh, Jordy Paul and everyone out here. So yeah, it's been a little while. It's the first time I've come to camp and there's been any real damage to me log store. Like I say, we've had 80 plus mile an hour winds recently, so it's hardly surprising. So I'm going to have to get myself out here for a day early doors and do a bit of repair work, I think. Yeah, woodland's looking good. Got the two Dans over there. Chef Dans underneath that brown tarp. Camping Dans there. I'm in my usual setup. Got my normal 4 before DD. Snug pack tropical hammock with the cocoon. Inside the, that is the Leviathan. Tactical ducks just keep him warm. If you know, you know. Got my jet boil. I've got my hot water bottle that Dan got me at uh, Christmas time there, the Christmas do. Yeah, I've not, to, not had to bring any food today. Dan, um, Dan's mate, Dan. <laughs> That's going to get confusing later. He's a chef, so he's uh, he's cooking us a load, load of food. And camping down the Cumble Man's brought us a Cumble, which I'm finally going to get to taste. Third time lucky. <laughs> we are going to get the fire going. We're going to be cooking on the fire tonight. As you can see, we've got our chairs set out. <sighs> yeah, it's good to be back. Looking forward to this. Three weeks since I've been out, man. Love it. Just between myself and camping down, Daz Beauty from the Beauty Brothers, DD Frontline XL with the Snug Pack under blanket and the DD 4x4 in multicam. And Chef Dan just getting finished up. We're going to go with Chef Dan and camping Dan so it doesn't get too confusing. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> happy with that. Is that a DD Frontline XL as well? Yeah. Yeah, with a homemade under blanket. Get on. Let's just start with an old sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, yeah. Hey, if it works, mate, it works. That's pretty cool, that, mate. Yeah, looking forward to some good campfire food and a good bit of crack with the lads. So we're going to knock the camera off just for now. Um, go and get some firewood and what have you. Um, and get the food on the go, I reckon. Well, we've been on the rack for some firewood. Have a look at this. A few long poles. Got some already processed. Some small stuff on the fire. Some more stuff getting cut over there. Taking the easy option tonight, we're using the Olympia fire gel, kindly given to me by King of the Ducks, Da. Thank you very much for that, mate. So Chef Dan's cooking us pork tonight. I reckon it's going to be a good three, three and a half hours. So we're going to get the fire lit, get it going and get the food on. 
while that's cooking, we're just going to have a chill and a good natter amongst the lads. And we've got all the gear, a billy can, frying pan, kettle, big pan, chopping board, look at this. Pork crackling leg joint, get in. Bag full of goodies. Yeah, it looks, just looks like a little red jelly in this tub. Not used it before, but we'll give it a go. Why not? We'll get a nice dry twig. Dip a bit on the end. So you can see there, the sticks, just the, the gel's just on the end of the stick. It's quite good that. And there we go, man make fire. But yeah, there's the fire going. Quite chuffed with that little gel, nice and easy. Obviously, I do have my fire kit with the, with the fat wood and the bark and everything in it, but yeah, it's a bit of a lazy camp tonight. So while that fire's getting going proper, good enough to get the food on, get a nice base in it, what we're going to do is a bit of that, a bit of chilling, <laughs> chilling in the woods with the lads. Yes, I. Right, guys, I'll bring you back when food's on. Well, the fire's going well now, and I think you guys will be truly impressed <laughs> with what we've got going here. So, without further ado, Chef Dan has done us proud. <laughs> Look at this. Got pork on the spit. <laughs> you see, you got, where, where do you see you got the spit from? Just from Asda. Asda? A couple of years ago, and on sale. Battery powered spit? Yeah, Asda spit. Look at that. Looking forward to this. Reckon in about three, three and a half hours on the spit to get that done. By then, we're all gonna be absolutely starving, but yeah, worth the wait, I reckon. Right, guys, we are starting to lose the light a bit here. It's proper chilled down. I do have my anemometer with me, but I'll be honest with you, I can't be bothered to go and get it, but it's probably hovering around freezing. Hang on. Oh. Camping oh, two Dan, degrees. Two, two degrees according to Camping Dan's finger. We don't know where it's been, but it's two, two degrees. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the skies are clear at the moment, but I'm kind of hoping to get some snow overnight. That'd be great. Fire's still going. We've got the pork on, pork joint on the spit. We've got some, uh, some other stuff cooking as well. So we'll have a quick look at that. Yeah, look at this guys. Fire is going great kicking off some good heat, which is nice with it being cold. The spit roast pork is looking good. And we've got a few, I don't know, pork, is it pork steak, is it? Pork, pork, pork steak's over there. Chef's got a Guinness on the go. But yeah, look at that. Campfire perfection. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the thing about Winter camping, you do lose the light a little bit early. Um, I'll do as much filming as I can for you, but um, yeah, it's getting a bit difficult with the light. So I'll definitely bring you back for food uh, and we'll see what the night brings. Look at this pork. How good does that look, mate? It's working the crack in terms of Oh, I can't wait it's for this. There. It's starting to blister. I'm salivating. Camp food perfection. <laughs> pork joint on, on the go and we've got the roast potatoes with seasoning on as well look at that wowzers right guys i am not joking this food looks amazing look at that pork joint look at the crackling on that wow potatoes are just about done got the pan on for the gravy fire is absolutely roaring. I cannot wait for this food. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at it. Unreal. We are just finishing off the pork joint and potatoes. Got a bread bone. Honestly guys, 
the wee sample of the pork. Mouth watering, honestly. Potatoes looking unreal. Cannot wait for this. Got some gravy going in the back corner in the pan. If you can just see it. Pork is done. Coming off the spit. It's carving up time. Yes I. Hats off to the chef of the night. Yeah, what a legend, Thank man. you very much, mate. Honestly. Yes, like I say, you haven't eaten anything yet. <laughs> no, we we have though. We have. We'll see you on the toilet tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sampled a wee bit so far. Oh, look at that! It's a bit smoky off the campfire, but we've got some crackling. Oh, what? <laughs> Proper camp scran. Does Bewley getting the belly full? Oh, absolutely. Look at them roasties. Get among it, Daz. Getting fired in, mate. Getting You're looking forward in. to that, mate. Oh, my belly's growling, tell you. <laughs> I bet it is, mate. So there we go, guys. Spit roast pork, potatoes and gravy. Cooked on the campfire. Proper camp food. Oh, oh. Get in my belly. Right, guys, that's the food finished. I am not joking you. That is the best camp food I have ever had in my life I am not joking you thanks to the, to the two Dans for coming Chef Dan for cooking honestly unbelievable we've had food, brilliant but camping Dan the crumble man has got the crumble let's have a look the crumbles are on the fire we've got some custard just about to go on what can I say epic camp epic food crumble and custard get in my belly crumble and custard looking forward to this camping down the crumble man has not disappointed that crumble was amazing we've had Pork cooked on the fire, crumble cooked on the fire with custard. What more can you ask for? So, yeah, we're just going to sit and chill by the fire for a few minutes more. And then it's bedtime. Right, guys, that's me tucked up in my hammock. What a night. Food, pork, amazing. Awesome campfire and yeah just the best of times so it's time to go to sleep so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning and we've got some bacon sausage eggs all that kind of stuff for breakfast i'm tucked up in my hammock now with the uh, hot water bottle that dan got me for christmas so yeah happy days man happy days so what an awesome camp and we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> yes, I. Well, good morning, everyone. Another good night's sleep in the hammock. I was awake about oh, four o'clock or something like that. Bummed it hard about getting up and then flat out. What time are we at now? Quarter past eight, so I've been up about 15 minutes now. Got the fire going, got uh, sausage and bacon, and the kettle on the fire as well. As Camping Dan said, is there any better sound or smell than bacon cooking on a fire in the morning at camp? Well, this food isn't too far away now. Looking absolutely delicious. Sausage. Bacon, black pudding, mushrooms, and breakfast is done. Black pudding, sausage, and bacon butties. Mm. You put it in the utensil roll. Oh, that is good, boys. Thank you very much. Mm.
these are wee little breeze this morning. It is nipping a little bit just at the fingertips, but it's about two, two point three Celsius. I think the uh, anemometer said this morning. Perfect. Well, that's the first one down my neck, and I'm about to tuck in and enjoy me uh, sausage and bacon. So I'll lock the camera off. Um, we'll have a little bit of chill time, and then it's going to be time to uh, start tearing down and get ourselves away home. I think. Well, that's us all packed up and ready to go home. Pretty good little camp that. Again, thanks to the two Dans for bringing the food and cooking it. The spit roast last night was amazing, uh, as was the crumble and the breakfast this morning. The best camp food I've ever had in my life. Yeah, we've had a good laugh with these lads. Um, the fire is out and that is the only trace we'll be leaving as we are allowed to come back here. That's the only thing we leave in place, but um, we've got our rubbish bags and stuff with us, ready to go. You can see where Dan was. Daz was over there. I was there, so we've left nothing behind. As always, thank you very much for clicking on the video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we all have. So once again, until next time, stay safe, much love from a Cumbrian lad.